a show can be good or bad, but as long as it's like enjoyable, I don't give a fuck, bro. Hey yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Mirai. Today we're gonna talk about best anime in 2018. This is going to be a very controversial topic, as I know not many people share the same opinion as me. This is going to be a discussion video. Feel free to type in whatever you want in the comment section. I'm sure to read it. I might not reply to all of the comments, but I do read them most of the time. Let's just go back in time and just think about what happened. 2018. Starting off, we have Violet Evergarden aired on 11th of January and this is one of my favorite show and I actually finished the anime two or three weeks ago and it's so good which is why I have strong memory about this anime. I'm sorry if I sound like something is stuck in my nose because I actually caught a cold. Bury it, okay? <laughs> so with Violet Evergarden, the show is about a woman trying to understand what is love. To be honest, I suck at explaining but <laughs> if you like Shigatsu wa Kimi no Oso, which is your lies in April, I I think you would probably like this especially to those that really likes anime visual the visual in this anime is just way different it's super clean it's amazing it's beautiful let's just put it that way it's beautiful i love it so much darling in the franks do people still remember the show? Probably yes, due to how much Zero Two did an impact on the anime community now Zero Two versus Ichigo versus I only remember these two. I'm not gonna spoil the ending. I'm not a big fan of Darling in the Franks, really. I did finish the entire anime, but at some point, the story kind of drift off in some way, and it's hard to explain, but I don't really like the way they are going with the anime. Probably not a show I would recommend to a lot of people. That's my opinion about Darling in the Franks. Zero Two is a good girl. Citrus. Good lesbian. I mean, good Yuri show. I love this so much. Yuri. No. Citrus is a show where people doesn't like it because of how shit it is and that is a fact, you know? Citrus is shit, but it's enjoyable in a way. And Yuru Camp, Yuru Camp is a show people talk about so much. This is a show I haven't got the time to really watch it myself, so can't really speak much about it. And then we have Kokoku. Shit show, but I watch it till the end. Uh, is it enjoyable? At some point, yes. It's about a show where some good character can stop the time and do good shit. And then we have bad enemies that can stop the time and do bad shit. This is my like my own opinion. You can disagree, you can agree. I don't really care. Feel free to have a discussion, like I said in the comment section. Killing Bites, very good actually show, although I don't think you can see nipples in this show. Can you see the titties? I don't think you can see the titties. It's basically Battle Royale, but animals and anime characters, BOOM! These killing bites. That is pretty much what I watched on winter 2018. So spring is when Boku no Hero Academia third season started airing, but I didn't even watch the first season. So don't talk to me about Boku no Hero Academia. I know nothing about it. So this is when State's Gate Zero started airing, 23 episodes by White Fox. I'm a big fan of State's Gate original. I haven't got a time to watch State's Gate Zero. I think I stopped at episode 8. My friends say it's good. Okay, GGO. Two reasons people hate the guy online is because first of all it has nothing to do with the original Sora online characters there's no Kirito there's no Asuna there's no Sinon I personally enjoy this I think it's a good show it's not a good storyteller definitely but this is something I will watch when I have the free time it's something like I can chill just you know look at girls shooting girls battle royale that's the type of shit I love to see not all of the anime has to be very very good in storytelling to be a good anime I found GGO is pretty enjoyable and spring 2018 is also when Tokyo Go RE or Tokyo Go Re, whatever you call it, started airing. I didn't even watch the first season of Tokyo Go, so don't talk about Tokyo Go with me, okay? Megalo Box, come on, this show, people love it. No, 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 I'm just gonna say that I love it. Megalo Box is basically boxing, but it's like in the future, humans started making max for their arms and their body so they can fight better. Hina Matsuri, pretty good, it's very funny. Maho Shoujo Side, this is also a show I think I dropped halfway as well. It was pretty enjoyable at the beginning because the girls are like killing each other. I kind of like Bitches killing bitches is fun in a way. At some point, it started getting boring. I think I dropped as soon as the girl with the pansu appear. Noriku, I love this show. It's so bad. The show is bad, but but it's so bad that it's enjoyable in a way. I love it so much. It reminds me of Osama Game. Osama Game is probably the worst anime. It's so fucking funny, especially when you are watching with friends. Some of the anime you have to watch with friends. Like, call your friends, come to your house, watch it together. That shit is fun, man. I remember watching with my cameraman, Max Gumi, you know, sometimes he appear in my older video. We watched Osama Game together and we laughed so hard. The show is so bad, but it's so funny, which is why I love it. The show can be good or bad, but as long as it's like enjoyable, I don't give a fuck, bro. 
Summer 2018. This is when Attack on Titan Season 3 started airing. But don't talk about Attack on Titan with me. I haven't even watched the first season. Ah, Isekai Mao. There's a cat girl and an elf girl. I think the cat girl is called Ram. Remu. It's a funny show. The show doesn't really make sense, but I think that's the whole point. It's not supposed to make sense. It's hard to explain, but it's enjoyable. I like it. And then we have Satsuriku no Tenshi. The show is bad. Compared to the game, this show is bad. The first episode is edgy as fuck. And then, when you have a main protagonist that doesn't have much facial expression, that keeps talking about she wants to die, but she does not want to commit suicide, with a man that keeps trying to kill the girl, but the girl does not... Oh. Fuck. The show's bad. It's not enjoyable at all. Not enjoyable. But the game is good. This is when Banana Fish started airing. This is a show I haven't talked about on my channel, but Banana Fish is a show that I finished watching two days. No, yesterday. I think I turned a little bit, like a little bit gay watching Banana Fish. I can feel the gay energy consistently transferring into my body and my soul. It's about American mafia with one Japanese boy coming to America and Shit happens. It kind of reminds me of 21 days. Is it 21 days? Ah uh, yes, 91 days, I'm sorry. It kind of reminds me of 91 days, but this is like the better version. Way better. Now with the Fall 2018 Goblin Slayer, for example, good show. No, no, no. Changed my mind. <laughs> okay, the first few episode is pretty okay. I mean, they, they kind of hype it up, the anime. This is a very controversial show. People don't like how they have the rape scenes and stuff. I personally think that it's like okay-ish. It's not the best I've ever seen. At some point, the show kind of become boring. My personal favorite fall 2018 show has to be two. Sorry, I have two. First one, Money Girl. Everyone keep talking about Money Girl, Money Girl, Money Girl. I was like, okay, okay, fine. I'll watch it. So with the first episode, I don't understand shit. It was very confusing. Confusing. And then the more I watch it, I realize this is a fucking good show. This is a fucking good show. Bunny Girl is a fucking good show. I have to repeat thrice, three times. Bunny Girl is a show. It's not about Bunny Girl. What? Hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. I'm reading the review. Hold on. Let me just screenshot this real quick. Bunny Girl Senpai is shit. People doesn't like this show. Really? Okay. Well, since I'm entitled to my own opinion, I don't care about what you say. Fuck what other people say. I like Money Girl. My camera is also dying. So let me just talk about my other favorite show is Tensei Slime. Whatever Tensei, I just remember Tensei Slime, sorry. The main protagonist died and he born as a slime. And this show is good. This show is fucking good. I like the humor in this show. And that's basically it, man. So let's have a discussion in the comment section. My camera is dying. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about your favorite 2018 anime. And give me a reason why. I'm talking about anime that aired in 2018. Not your all-time favorite anime in 2018. Some people have been suggesting Hunter x Hunter. That show is not airing in 2018, okay? Someone say Devilman Crybaby as well. But well, Devilman Crybaby is airing in 2018. Okay, that show is good. Devilman Crybaby is good. Some people don't understand it and they just say that it's a waste of time well once you do some google research you know that this show is not just about sex and gore like i said if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like let me know what is your favorite anime that aired in 2018 hunter x hunter is not a 2018 anime i know that you like that show okay i'm not saying that it's bad i'm not saying i disagree with you but i'm talking about anime that aired in 2018 just hope to see you guys in the comment section and in the next video